Cheers. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan, if you are new here, I'm 24 and I am a pro figure skater. Obviously by the title you already know what this video is, but I really wanted to film a dedicated what I eat in a day video to share some of the things that I typically eat on any given day. Of course, it varies day to day, but I have a pretty good routine sorted out and I love eating, I love food. If you know me personally, you know how much I love to eat. Like, food is life. So obviously eating tasty meals is very important to me, but not only do they have to be flavorful, I also want them to be very nutritious so that I can perform and train at my highest level. They say in order to reach your fitness goals, 80% is diet and 20% is actually exercise. And so many of you ask questions about the workouts I'm doing and wanting to see more fitness and health related videos so i just thought this might be helpful to some of you or maybe interesting i really enjoy watching these videos on youtube myself i mentioned it in a previous video maybe like a month ago that i have begun intermittent fasting and i'm so excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by fastic if you have never heard of fastic it is an app that helps you with transitioning into intermittent fasting there are so many useful things on this app that help you reach your goals whether you want to gain muscle you want to lose weight you want to maintain a weight or you just want to get into a better like health pattern there are so many reasons why intermittent fasting is beneficial to your health intermittent fasting can help increase your metabolism it can help prevent diabetes it helps reduce inflammation helps with cell repair and helps you build muscle faster so there are so many benefits to intermittent fasting and there's so many different ways to intermittent fast so currently the intermittent fasting pattern that works best for me is the 16-8 i do want to mention that i don't promote dieting or like diet culture intermittent fasting is a sustainable way to improve your health and not restrict yourself fastic has honestly helped me develop really healthy eating habits and because of this fasting period i am not finding myself craving snacks in the middle of the night or wanting to like binge on something unhealthy and it honestly really has helped me from just browsing my pantry and just eating whatever i see as you can see on the app it does count down when you can eat your first meal of your fasting period and it also gives you a very informative detail of what is happening during each period of your fast the app is super personal so you kind of put in what your needs are they do have a pro version as well as the free version and I definitely recommend investing in that pro version because there are recipes that you can create so within the app they show you so many different meal ideas the pro version also holds you extremely accountable because there is an in-app chat there are daily and weekly challenges within the app which is very nice to push you a little bit more there's just so many reasons why the pro version is totally worth it and if you want to get 50% off your first three months subscription you can use my code on the screen right here so definitely go check that out I will have all the details in the description box with all of that being said I am a morning workout person I love to get a workout in before I eat my first meal so I already am dressed and ready to work out and I'm feeling good I've been doing the 2022 week shred because I just love this program so I am going to do I'm going to do this video right here and this video I have my own ab circuit that I usually do let's get into it
time to break my fast. It is currently 12.20 and I love breakfast food. I'm a huge egg person. I could literally eat eggs every meal. So I have this multi-grain toast. I usually have one slice of this. I also have a mix of eggs and egg whites. So I'm gonna make one egg and then mix in some egg whites. These are just like a generic brand from Aldi. This is usually what I have every single morning for breakfast. I love eggs. I cannot express that enough. Put the toast on in there. It never fits properly. But I like my toast extra toasty. I usually put it on like a four and a half. I have always wanted to know how to crack an egg with one hand, but that day has not come yet. Also, I miss cooking so much when I'm on the ship. This is probably my favorite part about being home is having a kitchen. I actually really enjoy cooking. There's just nothing like a fresh, hot, home-cooked meal. You know what I mean? Oh, there's my toast. This is the toastiness we're talking about. As you can see, I am just scrambling them. They look pretty good, almost done. Just gonna add some hot sauce and we're good to go. There we go. Breakfast is served. And of course we have to give some to the princess. Sit, stay, pop, good girl, kisses. Spin, good girl. Breakfast slash lunch was delicious and now it's time for coffee. Let's pull her on out. I love this thing. It is my saving grace. It saves me so much money and it's only $30 at Target. I'm gonna grab my coffee filters and this white chocolate flavored coffee. This coffee is decent, but it's not super strong. So I usually have a very generous pour. just made an iced coffee of course and I have been putting food coloring into the cold foam that I make and it's just it's more fun that way it's like a light pink I don't know if you can tell on the video but it looks stunning and I've been doing this the last few days three hours later it is currently three o'clock and I'm quite hungry I was sipping on the coffee for quite some time and just hydrating so now it's technically lunchtime and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smoothie and then I'm also going to have like a little rice cake with peanut butter on the side. I am not a huge lunch person. I just really don't like having a big lunch. I'm more of a snacker throughout the day. I also want to mention I do roughly count my calories, but I don't exactly count them. I try to estimate just so I have a rough idea on what I'm eating and that I'm more mindful about what I'm eating, but I don't try to obsess over it too much. Little life hack for you. If you like rice cakes, put them in the toaster for like 30 seconds just to heat them up. And also it helps melt the peanut butter. Just trust me on this one. I kept it very simple. I just have some frozen mixed berries, almond milk, and half a banana. My blender is uh, leaking everywhere. That is not a good sign. I'm just trying to make like a cute smoothie and what is happening? We have regrouped. 
Here is the finishing product. It actually is more of a smoothie bowl consistency. It's a little thicker, so I just put it into this bowl and added some granola. So I'm just using the Wegmans Organic Granola, the vanilla and almond flavor. This is my favorite flavor of granola from there. And I'm gonna dig in. Look at the color of this beauty. My dad and I are actually gonna head to the driving range, so I have to meet him there. And fun fact about me, I actually love to golf. I'm not very good at it, and I just started learning last year, but I find it so much fun. Watching it is extremely bland to me, no offense, but there's something about whacking a ball. So <laughs> I'm gonna head to the dome now, get a little bit more exercise in, and then we'll come back and cook some dinner. We went through our bucket and now we decided it was time for a nice cold beer. Golf and beer with my daughter. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> I am back from the dome and I'm starving. So I'm going to prepare dinner now because it's like 7.15. But in the meantime, I'm going to have a little snack. I'm just going to have some roasted garlic hummus and a few wheat thins. For dinner, we have these beautifully ripe avocados. So I wanna take advantage and I'm gonna make my famous veggie Mexican bowl. Here we have it. So I have a little Mexican bowl. I would have liked to have some olives in here, but we didn't have any in the pantry, but that's okay. So I've got some couscous, salsa, a quarter of an avocado. I have a mix of green, red, and yellow peppers, some grape tomatoes, and half a cup of black beans. It looks and smells delicious. So this is definitely gonna fill me up and this will be my last meal of the day. Uh, I just cleaned up from dinner. Dinner was chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Mariah is now here. Hello. <laughs> but we're going to try this hop water. This is a mango flavor. It's like a sparkling water that tastes like beer. So a non-alcoholic beer. It's zero calories, gluten-free, vegan, 108 milligrams of vitamin C. Tropical, juicy, happy, the description. <laughs> A healthy alternative to beer. So we're gonna give this a we're gonna give this a go. I just received this in the mail. We are <laughs> pouring it in a glass with ice <laughs> because it is warm. It is pretty Ooh, foamy. It smells good. Listen to that foam. I know it's just <laughs> nonstop. Made in the mist right now. <laughs> Cheers. Good. Cheers. Not bad. No. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'd give it a solid. I like the mango flavor. I'd give it a solid eight. Yeah, I'm a I'm a sucker for mango. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how the classic would be. Maybe next time we can get, <laughs> we can get wild and have the classic. <laughs> it is the end of the day, and I am just kind of getting myself ready for bed. But that is a full day of eating. I started my fast for tomorrow around I want to say eight o'clock. I didn't eat quite as much today as I do typically, but I was really busy. But the most important thing is that I am not hungry right now. I'm not going to bed hungry. So I definitely 
had more than enough to eat. I don't have any like late night cravings or anything like that. So thank you once again to Fastic for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to go to the app store and download their app to try it out. Once again, if you want to save 50% on your first three months of your subscription, you can use my discount code. I will have all the information in my description box, but I definitely, definitely recommend intermittent fasting, giving it a try and just kind of seeing what fasting pattern works best for you. Personally, I really enjoy intermittent fasting. I'm definitely going to keep up with it. Not only have I seen physical benefits, I've also felt those benefits with my digestion and just overall wellness. So definitely going to keep up with that and definitely going to keep using my app. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.